Hey everybody, this is Collector Dude again. I got some uh, haul information and haul pickups today um, to show you. I picked them up yesterday, so I thought I'd just wait till the day to get them all shown. I went to Half Price Books, I went to my local comic book stores, and got a few things, and I got some stuff from Amazon. Stuff I've been looking for for a while, and I couldn't get them anywhere for really good prices. So I went on there and got a few things. So I'll show you that too if I can fit that all in. But um, today we're going to start off with just uh, some Star Trek books I picked up. This I got at one of my half price bookstores. They had this is Star Trek Unlimited number one. I wrote down some information so I could so because I, I looked at it myself trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, there we go. If we can get this to focus. Okay. Try to find out some information of it. Uh, this one's Star Trek Unlimited. There's like uh, let's see. There's ten issues in this. And it has stories for Star Trek, uh, The Next Generation, and Star Trek, the original series. So I thought it was really cool. And they had them all there. And I saw this like a month ago. They had like uh, Star Trek Unlimited, all 10 issues. And they had some other ones that I got. They had all the issues, but I didn't buy them because it was just too many. And I didn't want to uh, spend the money at that time. But when I went back uh, to yesterday, I saw these. So I, they were all in a group. So somebody must have took them and put them in a group. So I just grabbed them. But they're all for a dollar. But this has 10 issues in it. It's not really, really worth a lot of money, but I just thought it was cool because I love Star Trek. But, okay, here we go with Star Trek Untold Voyages. And this one has uh, five issues in it. And it tells from the second year, five, from the, from the second five-year mission. It's supposed to have stories that they did after, uh, I think it says it's between the first two movies or something like that, between the first two films. They're supposed to have, and it says, Eye, eyebrow raising revelations, stuff that you didn't know. So, um, like I said, if I could go back and get them, I would pick them up. But this was for a dollar, too. I thought this was cool. Some of the artwork, sometimes when you look at these, you're like, ah. But the stories are good. Because if you like Star Trek, you, you pick it up for the stories mostly. Um, and I went to a half price book one time. I had like 40 Star Trek books from Marvel Comics. And. I couldn't get them. I was like, I can't, I can't buy all these. So I had to put them down. And when I went back, I think a week later, they were gone. Somebody saw them. I put them all in a pile and put them in. Gone. But I got a few other things that I wanted that I could get. But I went through them and I was going to get them. And I'm thinking, I can't spend all this money. You know you know how you do. You're like, <laughs> I got to pay some bills. So I put them back. But they're gone. Somebody else will enjoy them and everything. And I separated them for everybody. But I put them in, all in the numbers so I could see what they were in the annuals and everything. And I'm like... I'm probably somebody's gonna get these, but I don't I don't care. I'll probably hopefully find them in an, in something like that in another hunt or garage sale or something like that. But okay, here we go with Star Trek Early Voyages number one. This is cool. This is uh Captain Pike in this one. And um this let me see what else is this. It's from the pilot episode of the original series, Captain Pike commanding the USS Enterprise. Look at Spock, how young he was. I mean it is uh uh, Troy's mother there. I remember she played the part. I can't remember, remember what her name is in there. But uh, all these early uh, characters. And this has, uh, Early Voyages has 17 issues in it. I mean, but I got that for a dollar. I thought that was cool. Really, They were all in really good condition too, so I picked them up. Uh, this one's Star Trek, Star Trek Starfleet Academy. And this is the fantastic first issue. And this one has 19 issues in it. And... I saw all of them. They had them all there. This, like I said, a month ago, and they had. I noticed there was an issue. There's two issue 18s, and that one issue 18 has a Klingon woman on it, and it's all entirely in Klingon. So yeah, I thought that was cool, but I, I couldn't get them. There was just too many of them. But I probably should have got that one in the English version just back then, and then come back and got the other ones. But I passed it up. But like I said, I saw this yesterday. I picked it up. I thought it was cool. But if I can go back, and I saw some there. But I think they're all sparsed all around. I looked through everything. I didn't find them all. Somebody must have grabbed them. But um, whoever has those, it's kind of a cool uh, uh, novelty uh, comic book. So, but that's uh, Starfleet Academy on um, issue number one. And here's my other picks that I got for a dollar. Uh, this was uh, one of my half price books here too. Moon Knight number one. I thought that was cool. I, when I looked at it, I said, oh, I better get it because it's a number one issue. It wasn't in bad condition. And I like Moon Knight. Um, it'd be cool to see a movie of him, how they do it, what they choose to do with him. But, uh, awesome. I like to get, there's one cover and a poster that Alex Ross did of him. I'd love to get that. But I like, uh, David Finch's style on him as well. But this is issue number one. And this was, uh, pretty old. 
So, but it was a dollar fifty back then. But like I said, I paid a dollar for it. So I thought that was cool. I think it's it's worth a pretty good amount of money. Maybe thirteen, fourteen dollars online. I've seen maybe more or less. Depends on who's getting it. Uh, these aren't worth too much, but these are the second and third issues. I got number two and number three of that series. Mark Spector, Moon Knight. So, but I thought they were cool, so I got them. And uh, I'll be reading them. I'm looking at them. They look really good. But I like Moon Knight. And this was another one. This is The Vengeance of Moon Knight. And this is number five. And these had some really interesting covers and artwork in them. They look really good. I'm like, man, this is Linnell Yu. And he's good. He's doing Captain America right now. I've been picking up that with um, uh, Alex Ross covers of him. But uh, this looked, the artwork looks really good in this. And I saw some other ones there. I didn't pick them up. But this one, I it said this one was worth a little bit more money. So I grabbed this one. There was two or three issues of it. And I didn't want to spend too much more money. So I got just this one here. But uh, they didn't have number one or anything like that. But this, I think they had issue six and seven. I just left them there. But I thought this was cool. So I grabbed this one. And it was worth a little bit more. It's got a little few marks on it and everything like this. And like, I'd say very good to fine condition. So not bad. Uh, and now we're on to some other ones. I love this story, uh, Ice Cream Man. I got the other cover for this, but I saw these here, and I had stopped because I was buying some other things. I had to do some other stuff. I had stopped buying them, but I got the first uh, four issues, and I bought doubles of each one, and I got second printings of them. But when I saw this, I said, oh, okay, pick this up. Um, you stop buying them for a little, little bit, but you go in here, and you find a whole run. Well, not a whole run. You did find a whole run, but they were second. I think they had the second printing of the first issue. And first printings of everything else, but I left those there, everything for somebody else to get because I got two issues of each. I didn't want to spend spend the, the extra money, but I didn't have this cover, so that's a very really interesting cover. My girlfriend read um, this that, all three issues that I picked up. She read them yesterday. She said it was really good. So it's just a, it's a weird story and everything like that, like the Outer Limits, uh, um, Twilight Zone type stuff. And um, I'm I'm still trying to figure out who this guy is. Like I said, I got to go back and look at him and, and read it again. And the guy. Uh, in the story that's the Ice Cream Man. This is number six, and there's somebody else that showed up that kind of made the Ice Cream Man a little nervous. So this is cool. I loved Neil Pollock and Ice Cream back in the day, but it wasn't yellow, so that must be banana in there. But that was a cool cover. So that's number six. I get to read them now. And they, they were coming out with variant covers of all of these. And this is number seven here. Ice Cream Man, number seven, look at that. So I'm looking forward to reading these. Because I just love, I want it, like I said, I've told, said it before in some of my videos, that I want to get something a little different than just superhero stuff all the time. But you still got to get the superhero stuff, but something a little different just for a little taste of something different, and that's good. These I saw, and these were a dollar. I've got them at my other half price books before, and I found two more. This is Mr. Miracle number four. Very cool. Some of them, these are going for a pretty good amount of money. And the artwork's great. Awesome, and I love Big Barda. Cool, that's number four, and this is number five. I think these are my second copies of these, and people are trading them in. Maybe for, for other stuff, just for a little bit of money to, so they can get other books or things they need. I'm not sure what they're doing, but um, they they give it away, and it's my gain. So they get something that they want it, and I got something that I wanted too. These comic books, they're very cool. So that's number five of that one. Cool. And I saw this, I thought this was cool. Damien, Son of Batman. Issue number one. I didn't see any more. I'd love to get it because I love, I think it's Andy Kubert or Adam, Andy Kubert. Yeah, I love his artwork. He has some really um, impressive images and things that he does. But that's issue number one of that. That's going, I think it's like six bucks online or something like I've seen. It could be more or less. I'm not sure. And it, the condition is very good. So very good to find or very fine maybe because I'm starting to learn, trying to learn that. Key Comics Market Watch guy does it really good and they're Jim Comics and, um, uh, comic Vantage and they, all of those guys they do a lot of grading and everything and they learn that stuff and so I got to learn how to do it as well so I can look at my stuff and tell you different things about it and what and if you give me some hints and tips uh, do that in the comments below but I got the first issue of this one I thought this was cool I love Mike Diodato's artwork I, like I said I still got to do his art book to show you but all these images and everything he, his light and dark his shadowing and everything and just the shape of everything how he uh does his characters very cool dark avengers number two so and this one i saw for a dollar i picked it up i still have yet to read this you know that for some reason i haven't read it i've been reading other things but this one i have yet to read but this is number one i didn't see any more 
but uh, I don't know if it's sold out everywhere or what, or if it's gone up in price or not, I'm not sure. But I have the first two or three issues, and I stopped. I have to get the rest of them and everything. But that's Magic Order by Mike M Miller or Millar for a uh, dollar. And here's something else. Let's see. This is uh, Batman, the epic finale of The Court of Owls. This is number issue number 11. I got that for a dollar. And some of the stuff they've done in animation is really cool with this. So that one's for a dollar. And then I got uh, Batman Endgame. This is a loot crate. I didn't see this one before. I saw um, the name on it. It said loot crate on it. I thought it was pretty cool. So I said, let me grab this. It's got a couple of ticks in the um, cover, but it was something different. You can see. But it was something different. So I said, let me pick it up, though. I'll look at it. And I love Greg Capullo's artwork. So that's a different cover there. And let's see, uh, Batman, the Batman Chronicles number 11. When I'm, when I'm there picking up stuff from uh, half price books, I always have my phone out and I got that key collector app and I jump to, um, the mycomics.com site or if I can, and sometimes I go to Midtown or I'll go to eBay and see certain things, what they're going for. I don't really trust eBay too much because some people can get on there and just price stuff like crazy but if you get the money i guess you can get the money if somebody's willing to pay it they pay it it's like that's the way it is with the market we live in the economy we live in and the world we live in people buy stuff and people sell it and you get what you want but i saw this and i couldn't find it on mycomics.com so and i don't think i saw it on midtown comics either so i'm thinking why is this one not in there they had a few of them there and i thought the cover was cool so i said let me look look this up on ebay and I found it was going for a pretty good amount of money. So I said, uh, let me grab it. And the artwork's not bad in it either. It was in very good condition. Elseworld, the edges and everything look really nice. And what's amazing, it's maybe have a little tick down there or something. But what's amazing is when they're in there, a lot of these books are in the, on, in the drawers, if you've been to, or in the uh, uh, little boxes in the uh, half-price comics uh, stores or half price books stores, if you go to those, you, you're surprised when you see some of these books, you're thinking, these should be tore up, smashed, and torn, or bent, but a lot of them are surprisingly are in good condition when you when you get them, so I put, I bagged this up right away, but I'm not sure what it's going for exactly, I think I saw it for 20 bucks, maybe a little more, and some a little less, depending on, and it's almost like you pay certain books you want, you'll pay more for shipping and handling than the actual book, so, but this looked really cool, so I grabbed that one, that's a, uh, Batman Chronicles number 11. And these, um, I had stopped collecting these two, the Dark Knight, uh, the Master Race. I had stopped collecting them. And I got some of the hardbound with the pencil Jim Lee covers on them. I got the first two or three of that. And um, I had stopped collecting it because I was getting other things. And it was, like I said, saving money. And I saw them for a dollar, so I picked them up right away. There was a Scott McDaniel cover there. And I, sh I put it back because I, I had more than what I needed, more than what I should have got in the first place. But I think if I if it's still there, I'll go back and get it. Just cool to have it. And uh, Andy Cooper is really good. The artwork and the, just the story and the, uh, is really good. So this one's number uh, six. I think I had the first five issues, so I picked this one up. This is number six. And for some, and I found that online. But for some reason, I cannot find this cover. This is uh, Dark Knight Three: The Master Race, book number nine. I cannot find this anywhere. I tried it on eBay. I tried it on, like I said, mycomics.com. Um, I tried it on, I haven't gone to Mile High Comics to check it out, but I'm not sure if it's a variant cover that's uh, really rare. I'm not sure, but I paid a dollar for all this stuff. So I don't, if you know uh, what this is, it says Andy, Andy Kubert and Frank Miller. I'm not sure if Frank Miller inked it. And it's, it's rare because of it, but it was in really good condition. So I said, and I, I don't remember. I remember seeing the covers from all the other ones, but I didn't remember this one. So I'm thinking, let me pick this up only for a dollar and try to find out information to see where, what this is and uh, what's special about it. But like I said, I've checked eBay and everything. And I can't find it anywhere. So if you know what this, look at this cover again. If you know any information about this, let me know. And is it worth something special or is it a special a cover? Because they did a whole bunch of covers, you know. So all these different artists did them, especially the number one. So I don't know what this one is. And this is number nine. And some of the books say like uh, seven of eight 
it was almost like going to go eight issues. And then this is book nine, so they must have extended it. I don't remember because I didn't follow it. But this is the last issue here, issue nine. So I, I really don't want to finish and read the story until I uh, uh, get all of them and everything. But from what, I, from what I was reading before, it was really good. I liked it. And everything, seeing the kids and everything, the uh, the super, the young versions of the characters and everything, or not the young versions of the characters, but the kids of the characters. So, like I said, if you know anything about that issue, let me know. And now, this is my comic books from uh, my local comic book store. Um, this is the store I went to first. Let's see. Um, here we go. What is this? Yeah, I went to my. Uh, Laughing Ogre comic book store in the area. But this is Heroes in Crisis. I like this cover better. Maybe I'll go back and get the other one. But I thought this was cool. And I love to get some stuff like this signed. They always, Midtown Comics does a lot of signings. And they'll get the first cover signed. And they've done other covers too, like with Image. Like I ordered some Curse Words it, issues number seven or eight or something like that. It's up at now. And they signed, Charles Soule signed two covers, two, two uh, variant covers. But uh, I got those in there for regular price, three ninety nine. I was surprised, but I like those covers. They're, if it's something, if it's an artist I really like, I'll, I'll splurge maybe twelve dollars. They'll go up to like the Return of Wolverine. Um, I have that one coming from the Joe Jusco one, where he's running down the hallway, and um, I pay twelve dollars for that, and that's coming in the mail from Midtown Comics. And then the following week, they come up with the Midtown Comics version with that same cover, and it's signed by Joe Jusco for the same price for twelve bucks. I'm like, whoa! So I got it in my uh, shopping cart, uh, and once I get paid again, I'll buy that one. But I thought it was cool. It's just an awesome cover. And then I picked up other covers of it, too, but I just like that uh, Joe Jusco painting. So just like he did all the covers for Marvel when he did all the uh, little the icon images, he did them. I got all, a whole set of those, too. And Venom was the one that was really good. But that's uh, Heroes in Crisis, number one. I'm looking forward to that. I let my girlfriend read it. She read it really quick. She said it was good, and she loved the artwork. I told her to look at it. She loved it. And then this one. I picked this up for $6.99 at Laughing Ogre, and they got a black and white version with just the pencils of Mike Diodato's artwork. And this was $6.99. The regular, it's number Spectacular Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number one, a variant edition. I checked online. It's like going for $4.99, so I paid a little bit more money for it. I'm not sure if it's... If it just depends on what they want to order. We, usually, like Midtown Comics, they'll have certain books in there that are more than the local comic book stores I go to. So I'll check both before I buy, make the commitment. And if I don't think I'm going to get one, and if it's something special, like that West Coast Avengers PS4 version Spider Man, you ain't going to find that anywhere. But like I said, I had it in my cart at Midtown Comics, but I waited too long and, and it got bought. And, um,. That I saw it removed from my card. Somebody had bought the last one. So I'm like, fuck it, I missed it. It was eight fifty, and I just thought it was a cool cover. But I missed out on it. But when you get something in there, you got to get it immediately from there. A lot of times you can put stuff in your cart at mycomicshop.com, and it'll stay in there for a while. Because I don't know if too many people shop there, or if um, uh, more people just shop at Midtown Comics or something like that. But mycomics.com is a really good store to go to to buy stuff. But like I said, this is a really cool image by Mike Diodato. For uh, issue one of uh, Peter Parker, the, Spe the Spectacular Spider-Man. Like I said, they have a, a pencil version of this. And it's going like for 40 bucks, And they had it for, I think, either it was $29.99 or it was $40. Something like that. I think it was $29.99, but I was like, I'm, I can't buy it right now. But this was only $6.99, so I got it. I just love his stuff. I'd love to have a giant poster of that. That'd be cool. Like my Batman, or like my Spider-Man stuff back there. And that was Laughing Ogre. Now, this is um, Comic Town. This is another store I go to. So, I got the variant cover of this one, Spider Geddon. And I wasn't going to buy them. And I'm thinking, I don't want to keep buying all these different stories and everything like that. But I said, I love Spider Verse. And those villains are coming back and everything. Those, those, those vampire, spider vampires. I'm thinking, go back and get them. So, I got the first three issues. I showed it on a video I did before. And this is number four. And this is the variant uh, edition. I didn't get the connecting cover one. But I'm thinking a shit about that too. But it's almost like they get you. You're like, I can't keep buying all this different stuff. It's like, if they come out with five covers, uh, which I guess is going to be the connecting covers, that it's going to be cool. But I like to see, a, um, I think Key Comics Market guy opened up one of his covers and everything. It was like that. And Frank Cho did a, a Ultimates cover where it opens up like that. I'm not sure if I showed it or not, but it's awesome. 
and it opens up. He loves, he bought the book and he said every time he sees it, he picks it up because it flips out into a cover. And I forgot the name of the book that he got. If you watch this, um, cat, let me know. Uh, but, uh, this is the variant edition for the Spider-Man and it's just really cool. So I'm not even sure who that is because I still have to read the books and everything like that. But I think this is going to be good. Like I said, I got the Clayton Crane cover of, uh, Spider-Geddon number zero. And, uh, I got that coming in the mail from Midtown and I got two of them. Uh, so I love the spider, uh. Uh, PS4 Spider-Man uh, suit. So I, it, I didn't like it at first. I was looking at it like, that's gaudy. Ugh, I can't stand it. So much detail. And as I see the game and everything, I bought the game. You saw the video of me un unboxing and everything like that. And then as I see more of the books and everything, it's starting to grow on me. I thought it was cool. And I remember when I was a kid, I used to draw on my shoes. I They, they were ponies. If you're, anybody remembers the pony shoe. Uh, when I was in seventh grade, I remember I'd get out markers and our colors were red and red and brown or red and black. And um, the shoes were all white and I couldn't drew on them because I was an artist. And I was like all the calligraphy and everything. And um, I would put uh, stuff like I was uh, um, tat or tattoos and uh, just marking everything all up on it. And and people would tease me. I'm like, what are you teasing me for? I said, these are my shoes. I wanted to mark them up. They were cool. I wish I had got a picture of them. I don't know what I did with them, though. As I got older and everything like that, I wish I'd known. I don't even remember what I did with those shoes, but I was in seventh grade back then, and I would mark on my shoes and write my name and then all different details all over the whole shoe. And it'd probably be popular now, and they even make patterns like that on shoes now. But back then, and um, everybody was teasing me, so I'm like, man, you know, leave me alone. They're my shoes. I like them, so I had to have an attitude and everything. And then they would leave me alone, but um, they knew I was an artist. They were like, like, hey, what'd you do that do your shoes for? I'm like, because I wanted to. All right, leave me alone. <laughs> but um, back to the comic books. Now, I got these two covers, uh, Return of um, Wolverine. I thought these were cool. I like the uh, very first costume here and the uh, Weapon X costume or uniform or stuff that he wore to, um, to get f filled with animantium and everything. But uh, I got these two covers, and I probably could go back and get the other ones too, but with him with the suit and him with the crazy hair from Apocalypse and everything, or was that what, what it was called? Um, but, uh, these were cool and they got so many other covers. You, you, what's it called? Unknown comics. And I seen it on Facebook, all the different covers. And I went to, uh, half, um, what is it? Uh, Midtown comics. And they got all these painted covers. Is it by, uh, who did them? Uh, Del Otto did all those. One with the, just the head, one with the mask and all the different suits and everything. And I saw the black suit with, uh, black and white suit with the Wolverine in it. I'm thinking, I can't buy all this stuff, but they're cool covers. I'm not sure what they'll be worth in time, but um, they're worth they're like twenty nine ninety nine right now if you get them on uh, uh, Midtown Comics. This one right here was something uh, crazy, Mister Miracle number three. Now, like I said, this was at the comic book store, and I couldn't. I've been looking for everything. When I go, I've been cutting back, like I said before on videos. I, I cut back on the new stuff, and I cut back on buying everything. If I don't think it's going to sell out. I'll wait until I get enough money to go back the next week or the following week and buy what I really wanted. Because for a time there, I was getting like DC, Marvel, almost every title at once. And it was close to $100 a week I was paying. And I'm thinking, I can't do that. And as I, as I got a bigger place and as I got a different car and as I got more bills and everything because I like stuff, I was like, you know what? I got to cut back on this and cut back on this and just break up my bills into buying comic books on this week and then I'll go back next week and buy the comic books and then you got to buy the comic for, books for that week so everybody knows the struggle and everything but when I saw uh, Jay Rule he uh, was going to half price books all the time and I'm thinking I've been to half price, price, price books before so I'm going to start going there and picking up some books so when I went there and I find whole runs of new stuff that people were turning in I'm like wait a minute if I just wait a little bit same thing with video games. If you wait a little bit, you don't, you don't have to have the new game right then. If I go to Game GameStop and a book will be a game will be sixty bucks, seventy bucks, eighty bucks. Some games I'll put in because I want to play it, and I'll put it in layaway and I'll have it there, and I'll just pay five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars whenever I get it and just pay it off. But uh, some games I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait a year even, and when a book when a game drops down to twenty bucks, I'll buy it then because I don't have to have it all new. Unless I just really got to have it. But uh, some games I've done that. You just wait. Yeah, that game is uh, like the UFC games. 
twenty dollars. It's like, whoa, these should be sixty bucks. So I'll just wait a little bit. I got the old games, UFC one and two and stuff like that. But uh, I'll wait for the other ones to go down. Some of the football games, um, any of the games that you got, uh, you just wait a little bit and they drop in price. And that, this guy told me that when it was a a, a store called Game Crazy back in the um, 90s. Um, there was Game Crazy. It was linked with stores called Giant Eagle. And they were like colored like green and black. And like the GameStop is like red and black. But um, they were right next to each other in the area down the street from each other. And I, I would go to Game Crazy and I didn't like to go to GameStop. But now since when the Game Crazy is folded and they went under, um, I started going to GameStop and I really like GameStop. My way, it's the only place to go. The only game in town, like they say. But um, back to this, though. Mr. Miracle, this is number three. This is going for good money. And I checked and it's like the very first uh, issues, like Comic Town and Laughing Ogre. Some of these stores, they had old issues of Flash in there. The ones with the Matina covers. I'm like, wow, they still got these on the shelf? And I picked up a few of them, just, and they're going for a lot of money online. But this one's going for pretty good money online. I, I didn't have this. I got, the like I showed you before, the four and five issues of Mr. Miracle. I got those for a dollar, and I had to pay full price for this one because even though I've been looking, I can't find it. Um, or issue number one or nothing. I found issue number one. I said, I, I got a half, dot, half price books. You saw those. I showed those on another video. And got them all for a dollar. Now I can read them all for a lot cheaper than actually paying full price for them so if you want to save some money uh like i said if you go to some of these sites and you're buying online or if you're going to your um your local comic book store support them and i like i said i go what's crazy is though like i said i'll buy them online i'll buy uh stuff at half price books and then i'll go to all three different comic book stores in my area and buy from them too because i want to support them but like i said sometimes i'll save a lot of money by going half price books and buying them there for a dollar by waiting a little bit and some of them if i just got to have it like i said i'll go to the comic book store or i'll buy off midtown comics mile high comics or my comic shop dot com and i'll buy them on there so it's just very spread it all out spread the money spread the wealth and help everybody else stay in business and stuff but that's all those issues i got there and then i went to uh, comic town again and he gave me one of these and i saw the key comics market guy watch i think his name's brian hey brian i saw you put this away now what's special about this is this because they're going to get it married because everybody's getting married now. This is uh, The Thing and Felicia. So I do, or is this somebody different? I'm not sure. But uh, this is Fantastic Four number five, and they're supposed to get married in there. And he really looks like the on the movie version of the guy. That's really cool. So hopefully there's no uh, faking about this, and they actually do get married. But um, I saw you put this in a um, special uh, cover. Like I said, I use Silver H bags, and I got the resealable ones in boards. I got the resealable one, so I put this away. But um, I got the guy just threw it in my bag. I already got a previews, and I got this previews from um, Laughing Ogre. And here's uh, previews. It's for October number three sixty one. They got Conan the Barbarian. I guess they're gonna come out with that on there. Number one from Marvel now. And Jason Aaron and Marud or Mamud Azrar. Colors by Matt Wilson. Covers by Assad Ribic. He's gonna be. These are gonna be cool. I liked when um, Ed B or Kurt Busiek was writing the stories and stuff. So, but this is the the one cover. Look at a monster. What's his name? Yeah, Wild and Frenzied. I forgot his name. How could I forget his name? But if you know what it is, <laughs> tell me what I. How can I forget his name? But um, this is the back of it, and this is uh, Mesco Toys. And look at all this is some really cool toys but um i picked this up from my uh laughing ogre comic books and then when i went to pick up those few books from um comic town he put that in there for me so they must be have extras that they throw it in and it also too they'll give you free bags and boards with every comic book you buy plus i bought a whole set of a whole box of um bags and boards resealable from him he still gave me bags but those bags and boards that he gives you when you buy the comic books aren't resealable so and I use them for my older books or something that I'm going, if I'm going to trade in with half price books, I'm going to use those for that. But I like the resealable for some reason. I, once I got onto them, I'm like, I got to use resealable. I can't use anything else. I don't like that tape. Have you ever, and everybody's done it, pull it out and there's that tape stuck right to your comic book, your beautiful comic book, and you're sitting there going, ah, trying to get it peeled off real slow so you don't tear it. That's why I said no more. It'll still happen with the resealable ones, but not as much. Oh, and here's this. That's the previews. 
the man who laughs, the Batman who laughs. He's going to come out with a book and jock cover. Here's the back of it. Martian Manhunter number one. They're going to come out with that. That's coming up. And I, I forgot to show you the back of the uh, cover for the uh, Marvel previews. Spider-Man Miles Morales. Just number ones like crazy. Exit the Spider-Verse into the Marvel Universe. Wow. But um, that's all I got right now. Um, I hope you uh, liked that, enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to do some more videos. Like I said, I got some stuff coming in the mail. I'm going to do some more videos. I'll show you what I got from Amazon. I won't show it on this video because it's been gone. It's gone kind of long. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, please give me some feedback. Um, like and share and tell your friends and everything. And let me know what you like. And if you get any ideas or pointers or that I can do to be better. And um, uh, just comment on stuff so I can keep doing these. And I like everybody that comments and everything. Just It just encourages me, encourages me to continue to keep doing this. This is fun. I love doing this stuff. Oh, before I um, go off, I'm going to let you see this. Um, I go to um, flea markets as well. And this thing was fourteen ninety nine, but then you go to a dollar ninety one right there, and it was half off day. So I paid like a dollar or ninety cents for this. And these things are going for a lot of money online. They're like metal versions of Star Trek ships and everything. So I thought that was cool. When I saw my girlfriend, saw so she goes, Gary, look at this. So I said, Ah, do I want that? So I said, Yeah, I'll just pick it up. I said for for ninety cents. Hey, and here's the back of it right here. I don't know if you guys do anything like this. I've never um, seen these before or done anything with them before. So I said, that looks kind of cool. So I checked it on Amazon real quick, and it said it was like 20 bucks for these things. And like I said, this, this one said $14.99. So I thought it was cool. So I, I, I get it. I got it. And I think you might have to use a tool, a small pair of pliers or something like that, or a little tweezers or something like that to put, it, put everything together. But it's just really cool. So no glue or solder needed. So a little um, connector lips and every everything to put these things together. So it's just, I think I just think it's really cool if you like stuff like that. And you have a little shelf to put them on, and everything. Plus I like those little Hot Wheels little things that they make the little ships you can put on those snap things and put those up too. Like I have a little shelf along the back, like I got my uh, characters uh, push pinned to the wall. But and this is another thing I got there. I love this stuff. Graphic audio. I have the app on my iPad. But um, I got a lot of this stuff from Superman and everything. The Superman, Batman stuff, stories and everything. Spider-Man stories, Marvel, DC stories. But this was really cool. Um, all of them were in there. They weren't scratched. I checked them before I get it. But this is 90 cents, so I paid 45 cents for this. And there's uh, five, five uh, uh, CDs. But um, Deathlands, it looked pretty good. James Axler, Deathlands, Baptism of Rage. I thought it was really cool, so I picked it up. I like to listen to stuff when I'm driving and everything. And if I can uh, uh, promote it or something like that, this is something good to do. Like I said, go on, go to graphicaudio.com, check them out. And they have a lot of stories. Like I said, they have Crisis on Infinite Earths, and they have um, the uh, Secret Wars um, for um, Marvel. And DC was Crisis, Crisis on Infinite Earths. They have that in audio version. And it's really cool to hear the voices. You're like, wow, this is so cool. And they did a lot of other stuff and everything, too, with Marvel. Some of the stories and everything. Like that, some, a story that Brian Michael Bendis did and everything. It's just, it's just really cool. So check them out. And um, if you like to listen to stuff when you're driving, you've got a long drive. If you drive truck or if you drive across state, whatever you do and everything like that. If you're just commuting to work and stuff like that or back and forth to the store just to have something in just listen to something different than news or music or something all the time like i said i always try to find something different to do so i listen to stories instead of the news all the time or music or radio whatever and it kind of gets my mind going i have the whole harry potter series i listen to that whole thing like 10 times and i love those stories and the guy who re reads it awesome that was something i'm thinking about doing too doing my comic books like that but we'll see but that's good and like I said, so far that's done, and I'm gonna stop this, and I'm gonna try try to do another video later. But um, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like, or if um, like and subscribe, subscribe, tell your friends and everything, and tell me uh, some of the stuff about the books you got. And like I said, remember this book here. If you know anything about it, let me know about it. Dark Knight. I couldn't, I couldn't. Like I said, I can't find it online anywhere to see what if it's worth something special. And that's number nine. All right, guys. You guys have a great day, and like I said, I'll see you soon. And, and more videos. All right. Bye-bye.